In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christe eleison, Christe eleison. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory, glory to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory, glory to God in the highest, glory. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Oh God Almighty Father, glory, glory to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ. Only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer, you are seen. Christ with the Holy Spirit. 
us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ, your Son, is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. So, Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. A blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. A blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness for the Lord. is the great king over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at the right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. My dear friends in Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. It is easy for us to obey our loved ones. We love our parents dearly and we follow their orders. Even students respect their teachers and they listen to what is taught to them. How would you, how would you respond if Jesus appeared to you? instructed you to go forth and make disciples of all nations. We are celebrating today the ascension of Jesus. The disciples went to Galilee to meet Jesus. Before Jesus went up to heaven, he commissions the disciples to go and make disciples of all nations. And they willingly obey 
his command. They truly loved Jesus and respected him so much. Their faith in Jesus grew stronger and they obeyed his commands even at the cost of their lives. The faithful obedience of the disciples have reached us by the sacraments of baptism and confirmation. It unites us with Christ and is given a part in spreading our faith. Yes, we all do have responsibilities to our families and our community. However, this is Jesus who calls us to preach his words. We must obey his command. Words alone are simple. We also need to live our lives in a loving and generous way, just like how Jesus lived. We worship God in the Holy Mass, and our responsibility does not end when the Mass is over. We must continue the teachings and sharings of the good news through our words and deeds. This task of Jesus for us is ongoing, and even in our times now, we can do this mission every day. Because of the COVID-19, we cannot celebrate the Holy Mass in public. By using the internet, we can still participate in an online Mass and share the good news about Jesus using our social media accounts like Facebook and YouTube. Simple actions that can be done at home and still we are obeying Jesus. Our sharing and caring actions are not limited in the internet for there are still ways we can reach out to others. In this period of COVID-19 pandemic, we must help in every way we can for the needy. For many are hungry nowadays. We will share hope to them in this time of need. And to increase their faith, we will bring them closer to Jesus. Jesus has certainly returned to the Father, but he's still with us through the power of the Holy Spirit. We feel his presence and his power because where he is, he continues to guide and protect his people. He's in heaven, but is not distant from his people. He knows what we are going through and he cares. On this piece of the ascension, let us lift up to the Lord our special concerns and desires as we celebrate him taking up his position in heaven. He continues to be united with us. And so we are confident that our prayers will be answered, our petitions granted, our hearts continue to experience the same effective presence of the Lord that his disciples felt in their own lives. We thank the Lord for the Holy Spirit who connects us with him and for the power of prayer that gets its effectiveness from his unending love and concern for us. Jesus crucified, risen, seated in heaven, and with us still. Amen.
As one family all together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, to him all things were made, for as men for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, is spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence in our merciful God, let us present our petitions to him. For all members of the church, may the Holy Spirit embolden us to bear joyful witness to the saving power of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who govern, may Jesus' example of compassionate and just service inspire them. Let us pray to the Lord. For the oppressed, exploited, and voiceless, especially the victims of human trafficking, may God comfort them and lead them out of their affliction. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may our shared commitment to being witnesses of Christ's love inspire us to work together. Pray for one another and forgive one another. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may they abide with Jesus in heaven forever. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray also the people of the parish, the special intention of Teresa de Loira, Gerald Ramos, and also for the souls of Olof, Limburgs, John and Johnny Tip, Josepina Sarmiento, Virgilio Ariola, and all the souls in Purgatory. We pray also our frontliners, those who died in this pandemic, those in the hospital, those who are sick, those experiencing a lot of trials, depressions, and anxieties in life. Let us pray for them to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. Heavenly Father, you remain with us through your spirit. We ask that you hear the prayers of your witnesses gathered here and answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, to Almighty Father. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is surely right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the jupal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sato was ascended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy and their parishioners. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. As one family with our humble hearts all together, let us pray the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it does not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My dear friends in Christ, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the world, and my soul shall be healed. Since you are not yet able to receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, but through his spiritual communion, you will receive him. And also pray this one. I am vaccinated by the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, and no one, no virus can touch me.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allowed those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant we pray that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. We ask this to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Mass ascended. Go and let us pray for one another. Thanks be to God.